The Invitation is directed by Jessica N. Thompson and stars Natalie Emanuel, Thomas Dougherty, and Hugh Skinner. Discovering that she has a long-distant family, a young woman goes on a retreat to a wedding of one of her relatives, while also discovering a great deal of gothic conspiracies involving the hosts. When I first saw the trailers for this movie, I didn't think much of it. It just looked like your plain old, usual, generic, bland horror movie that didn't look scary and was probably going to be pretty bad. Was I right? Well, in many ways, yes, this movie is very much awful, but in other ways, I absolutely loved it. And for all the wrong reasons. This might just be the most hilariously bad movie of the year. The biggest since Moonfall. So before I get into all of that, is there anything legitimately good in the movie? If I'm being honest, the acting in the movie isn't terrible. If anything, I would say it's pretty good. Like I'm sure most of you, I know Natalie Emmanuel most from her work on Game of Thrones. So I know she is a British actress. So seeing her as an American in this movie, I was always waiting for the slip up, just the wrong pronunciation of a word. And to be honest, I didn't really catch any. Her accent is pretty good, and her performance is actually pretty decent. And so is Thomas Dougherty for the first half. Both of their performances are actually pretty good, and they actually have really good chemistry with each other. Also, the movie does have a good sense of atmosphere. I mean, the setting of this movie is a gigantic gothic mansion in the middle of nowhere. They do play around a lot with the blue moonlight and a lot of foggy images just to bring up that creep factor. It is actually good atmosphere building. It's not a scary atmosphere per se, but it is a fun atmosphere. And while we're on the subject of not scary, let's get into the bad things about this movie, starting with the fact that this movie is not scary. Most of this movie's scares rely on two of the best and most famous and most beloved scares in all of Hollywood history, jump scares and fake out jump scares. I have rarely seen an occasion where a jump scare is any good in a horror movie. And when you have fake out jump scares to add along to that, you know you're trying desperately and you are failing miserably. And when it comes to the actual kills in this movie, they're not scary either because they are drenched in complete darkness. You can't see a thing so you can't be either scared by it or enjoy it. Literally the most scary scene in this entire movie is at a spa day. I know that sounds like a big complaint, but one, yeah, it kind of is because nothing else in the movie is scary. And two, it's actually not a big complaint because the editing in that scene is actually pretty good. Most of the time, it doesn't even feel like this movie is trying to be scary, mainly because this movie can be split into two different parts. The first half of this movie is a rom-com with the only occasional bit of creepiness or the attempt at a scare. That's it. And half the time, I feel like the movie forgets that it is supposed to be a horror film because for most of the movie, we just follow our two lead characters falling in love in this one location. And honestly, that stuff is handled so well, part of me thinks this shouldn't have been a horror movie. Why not just make it a straight up rom-com? They have great chemistry, the acting is good. Why not just make it a rom-com? But no, because sprinkled in those few bits in the first half of the movie, you do have the attempts at scares. And then the last half of the movie just goes full on deep into horror movie-ness. And it's bad horror movie-ness. At the end of the second act of this movie, you finally find out what this whole wedding invitation thing is about, and it's ridiculous. Without giving anything away, it is so hilariously out of nowhere, 
and they go deep into what these people are so much and so heavily. I was laughing throughout the last half of this movie so hard. I'm pretty sure I annoyed the people behind me by how much I was just loving this last half of the movie and I was just loving it in all of the wrong ways like I said earlier. It's so cartoonish and the tone shift is so sudden it's insane. I loved it so much. It's so, so bad. And I loved it so much. This is without a doubt, hands down, one of the worst movies of the year so far. And I would honestly recommend it. To be fair, the acting's not half bad, and there is the occasional scene of creepiness, but the rest of the movie is so grown-worthingly not scary, so unfocused when it comes to its tone, and so insanely stupid when it gets to the last half of the movie, it is objectively awful. To be honest, even though I should, I'm not going to give this movie an F because as bad as it is, I did have a good time with it, but is it? Good? Hell no. I'm going to give the invitation a D minus. Well guys, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite horror movie despite the fact that you know it is hilariously awful? For me, I own my favorite on Blu-ray. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon down below to stay up to date on all things movie, all things TV, all things nerd.